Okay, welcome to my Lightbox tutorial course here. It's, it's going to be very brief. Uh, just a heads up, I am a novice photographer, but I do enjoy do-it-yourself projects and that I like to say, that help me save time and money. So I apologize for the lighting in here today. It's not your, your typical Tom Tattle tutorial. Uh, I am at my cottage here on beautiful Lake Huron and uh, just give you a quick view. I do a lot of my work here in the summertime and do a lot of the tutorials that you uh, see. So just one of my favorite spots. Anyways, enough about me. Uh, basically, you wanna produce uh, catalog quality images and uh, have images of your products without distractions. So your customers can you know, make purchasing decisions. And this, what's called a light box will help you achieve that. It's a very uh, you know, inexpensive investment that you can make. And basically I'll give you a rundown on uh, everything here. Now, like people say, a photo is worth a thousand words. It's very true. Often when I'm making uh, purchase decisions, uh, the photos are a, a big clincher for me. So you wanna make sure you got high quality uh, images. So this particular light box I purchased on Amazon and uh, it's a 16 inch light box. So I can do you know, larger items if I want. And you can, I believe they have you know 36 inch light boxes you can go right up to, depending on what size of products you are selling. This particular light box, I believe cost me just over 40 US dollars plus shipping. Uh, yeah, they're generally around 40 to $50. You can pick them up on Amazon. And then another feature that I did add, which, which cost me about eight US dollars, is this little neat device here that holds your your phone. Otherwise, if you have a DSLR camera, you, d you do not need that extra option. But I like to use my iPhones. They seem to work excellent for me. I enjoy the, the photo quality. I shoot a lot of my videos on them as well. So just a little tip there, you would also uh, need to include that if you wanna shoot images off your phone. Now, if you are curious and want to purchase the same items that I have in this video here, you will be able to catch the links uh, in the description below the video or on my website at tomtattle.com slash ecom and just look for the light box tutorial section just below that I'll have links to the actual Amazon products that I'm using. So, uh, just another quick uh, few features here. When, when you're taking images here, you wanna make sure that, you know, zoom in. So you can see in the back of the light box here, it's, it's basically a cloth. Now, this particular package comes with one, two, three. So I got, I got the black, your blue, your red, and the white that I have in there. Uh, mucilin background. So the idea of this material, it doesn't cause reflection. It's excellent uh, for eliminating shadows. That's what we want to do. Now, I'll just quickly turn on the lights here. These lights, now they do get very hot. If you leave them on for any length of time. So just pop those on. And, and notice, one, one of the things when I first got it, I thought, okay, you got to have those lights right out front here where I have this little camera top tripod. I had, you know, both lights on 45 degree angles of the front pointing in. And not being a novice, not knowing what I was doing, the shadows were horrendous. So the idea is you want to have the lights, you know, coming right through the box on the side, somewhat onto your product. So I see I've lost the camera here. Um, I'll just quickly sign in there. And now you want to pinch and zoom here. We'll get that kind of, right. So bring it into focus there. We have our lights on. And make sure we take lots of photos. One important thing when you're using a light box, do not use flash, no flash required. Uh, you can play around with the positioning of your lights here just to, you know, just watch your your product and see exactly where the shadow is casting and move those lights into position with 
works best for you. The background here, you'll notice, it's at, up top here, there is a Velcro section at the top, so you can attach the different colored uh, materials on the back and then just hang them down and drape them down so they form a nice curve at the bottom. There's no hard edges. Um, the tripods, this particular uh, kit that I got came with two tripods. So you have this one large particular one that I have the iPhone mounted on. And it also came with a second little tiny one here, a little flexible one. You can bend it around into whatever position you want for close-up shots. So not a bad score off of Amazon uh, to really help the quality of your images. Now, uh, another useful thing, once you do have your images, download them to your computer, you might want to crop them, manipulate them, and a, a great free place to do that that is a, you know, almost <laughs> like, I've used Photoshop for years, and pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com is an amazing free resource you can use and and uh, check it out anyways if you want to manipulate your images that's my best advice and the tomtattle.com slash resources page you'll see at the bottom I have uh, a section there that deals with images and, and talks about the, the free tools that I use so if you want to check that out so if you have found this uh, tutorial helpful. I sincerely appreciate any likes and follows to keep you motivated to bring you more helpful tips like this to help you with your online venture. See you in the next tutorial.